Hello, everybody. I am Aston Toms. I was in the January, February conference of 2022. So I just completed my conference about a month ago. I am a former civil engineer in the United States Air Force, and I spent four years on active duty. And I was lucky enough that all four years of active duty were in Germany. Right. And now here I am, like I said, in an elementary school starting work. Okay, so you came to a conference literally a month ago, less than five weeks ago, and now you're sitting in your job in Austin, Texas. You're not from Texas, you're from Pennsylvania. So what are you doing? What's your job? Why are you in elementary school? Yep. I accepted an offer with a construction consulting firm, pretty much, and I am part of the project management team down in, like you said, Austin, Texas. And one of the projects is for an independent school district. And we are assisting them in building a new K-8 facility at a new early college high school. So I'm sitting right on location to be able to be in the weeds. Yeah, so I joined Cameron Brooks while I was deployed. And if everyone deployment tempos, you know, it's, it's hectic, but it was nice to have just the beginnings of Cameron Brooks, I would have conversations once a quarter with the team. And it just started building those foundations. And it helped me understand, to start thinking about what I've already accomplished. And as I was rounding out my last year of active duty, there were just certain accomplishments that were happening that I knew would be able to translate so well into my DPP and the whole process. So I had the advantage of Kind of knowing what questions were going to be answered or what questions were going to be asked before they were so i was able to just kind of connect my career to the civilian world so much earlier because i knew what cameron brooks was looking for i saw myself grow cameron brooks saw me grow for 18 months um and then i i just want to throw this in over that 18 month period, I, I mentioned it to Cameron Brooks before, but I felt like I became a better officer at the same time because I was being developed and matured through Cameron Brooks. And I really felt like even some of the books I was reading or just how to answer questions, I was performing better in the military as well. So you interviewed with a bunch of companies, you had a bunch of different things. Maybe just give us a flavor of the types of um, uh, companies and positions that you interviewed for at the conference. Yes, yeah, so um, I had a wide variety of companies, which was nice because I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do. So it gave me a larger picture of what corporate America had to offer me. Um, I had some consulting, just um, executive consulting. I mentioned I'm in construction consulting, basically. Um, there were some positions with um, consumer packaged goods firms, um, some medical device companies, and most of my duty titles throughout the, the conference was project manager or a few sales littered in there, um, but mostly project management. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing for me, I was leaving the military culture, which is it's huge, right? That's what everyone lives for and that's what everyone enjoys. So I was looking at overall company culture, who was I actually reporting to, and then, of course, what the growth in that position looked like, more than I was looking at position or location, because those are things that can change, but right. your boss might not necessarily change, and your company culture is not changing. 